Is it worth it to get the Bold and Bright new markers from Crayola? I'm gonna let you know in this video. Last year, Crayola came out with the Bold and Bright crayons and those were really pretty. They colored on black paper really well. And this year they came out with the markers and the twistable colored pencils to go along with those. And we're gonna look in this video, we're gonna compare some of the older markers that Crayola has to these Bold and Bright, and we're gonna see how well they perform and kind of see the pros and cons to these markers in this video today. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crayon Collection. I help you find the coolest art for whatever project you're doing. Now Crayola came out with the Bold and Bright markers this year, and they were at Walmart. They were kind of hard to find. I didn't find them at my Walmart. I had to order them online and luckily I was able to get them so I could show them to you. And I am gonna compare these to two other markers that Crayola has. The gel markers that were around like in the 2010-ish range and then these markers. And we're gonna go through all the names. We're gonna look at the gel markers from a while ago and see how they compare. So first one is magenta. So we're gonna do a little, ooh, that one's cool. Very thick tip, even though it's a normal thick tip, it just feels very thick. Okay, so this one does not have a name. And these ones are a little bit older, so they might not work as well. But that one appears to be the same color. Let's look at this one going away okay this one is rose and then this one okay I feel like these markers might be a little old <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting uh, experiment right so we have no clue but um, this one is dried up I should try to revive that one. Okay, this one is <laughs> orange. Well, it's a good thing they rebrand them every year because you can't buy them. Okay, there's no orange in these ones. I'll keep these ones over here. And then, let's see. I think this one's just yellow, yeah. And let's see if this one writes might be a telling story okay that one looks very dry also these are like completely dry so I think what I'm going to do is try to revive these so we we know this one the yellow and probably the rose needs to be revived okay there are two possibilities here one that we can revive them and two that we cannot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here and we're gonna pour some water. Okay, let's see if we just pour some water on it, what it does. Oh, this one didn't work very well either. So let's put uh, some water on this one. We're gonna have to try a lot of these later. There's definitely ink in it. I'm just gonna pour a little water on here. So we're gonna store them out upside down. I might have to look at them a little later today. Okay, let's see if these ones work any better. So we've got the magenta. Let's see. Okay, that one is definitely looking better. Let's see if it shows up on the black paper now. Um, okay. Then we have our rose. Let's see if that one worked better. Okay, that one still is not working. This one might be just completely dried up. Let's look at our yellow. Mm, that one's working a tad better, so there's potential there. But it didn't work the first go around. And then this blue, let's see if this one works better. Well, that one's looking better. Look at that. That looks a lot better. Okay, and then on here, I think blue, or oh, sky blue is around here. Kind of showing up a little bit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's kind of showing up a little bit. So it definitely improved 
two of them with the water method and then the other one not so much the other two not so much that's initially why like I didn't collect markers is because I know that they don't last forever I do like markers I found to use a little better so I guess I just have to buy them more color pencils will last you like a hundred years not really a hundred but okay this tip looks halfway dried out but not not bad okay that one looks like lime and that's actually working all right the next one is a color that is not on here it's green I mean it's not in these ones okay. and then that is where it does not look green you sometimes when you put different colors with different like if this was with white it would look more green but because it's with pink it kind of looks turquoise a little bit so that surprised me okay the next one is let's see sky blue so far these are really pretty named okay then we'll try sky blue over here okay that one looks like it still works but not really the color underneath is the same <laughs> i will try to revive that one okay the next one we have is not in gel markers and that one is blue okay and the next is i think a purple yeah that one's purple Okay, that one looks purple. Of course it would look purple. Okay, and now here we go. Oh, that one actually works. Okay. I'm gonna go get something to try to revive these markers real fast, okay? Okay. And these take a little while to activate. And these are gel. See, it's when they dry that we see what they look like. which is cool. All right. We're doing magenta first. So these actually look like I will pull them out. I recently did, I did a live on ones. These are similar to another one. So I will say that the markers are not new themselves, the technology behind it, but packaging them in a package of 10 is. This one's rose. Just give it a minute. One of the things that you have issues with you, when you put these colors on like a black paper is them keeping their same color. Sometimes they'll just go white. So it's really good to actually have ones that change. There we go, we have yellow. This one is lime. I think we finally have one that will work in this one. See if it's the same technology. If it'll show up. Okay. And then our next one is sky blue. But it, it takes a minute. Colors over here. <laughs> okay, the next one is blue. And it will take a minute. And then we've got purple. Oh, sorry guys, that was totally the wrong one. This was the gel. Okay. So it looks like maybe they are different. So this one, these two did not show up unless there's some kind of activation and it, like you have to shake it or something to get it out. Okay, and then we've got our white. Oh, that one's not really, oh, that one is appearing. So I wonder if there's some kind of activator in these and the older ones just are not activating. And then we have all of these now. We are gonna go here and see if this gray shows up. 
As you see, the gel markers are old. They dry out really easily. I've had regular markers that have worked years later, so this is disappointed these don't work. I don't know if air got out or it was just air in the system already, but they definitely dried out. We're also gonna compare the Bold and Bright to these other ones that Crayola came out with. These are the neon light effect markers and don't get confused about them because they're basically the same thing. All I did was Crayola threw in a paint pen, which Crayola does not make paint pens, but this is actually a pretty nice white paint pen and I think it's the only place you can get it. But they threw in a paint pen so you could write on them. So I am, since our gel was like, Lamo, I'm just gonna do them over here. Let's see. These ones also have names. Let's see. Let's see. This one's hot. Magenta. So we'll see if these ones uh, get turn colors, which I think they do. This one's Atomic Tangerine. This one is already dried up, guys. I did not use this one that long ago. I just bought these this year. Interesting. Okay, so I cannot use that one. This one is Laser Lemon. It looks like it's trying to do something, but not quite happening. This one looks like it would do something, but it's not. Okay, this one is Electric Lime. So I feel like, okay, this one's definitely doing something right here. I feel like these markers, I don't know if you have to like shake them or something like that. They, this is kind of telling like, it, this might be what will eventually happen with these bold and bright markers. Cause look at this one, this one's fine. Um, this one looks a lot like the lime. Oh, this lime is very interesting. See how it doesn't, did it uh, really do much? Huh, interesting. Okay. And then this blue looks a lot like the other blue. Okay, let's see if it changes color. And then we have a purple. Oh, sorry. This is called ultraviolet. And this one was called, right here, Battery Charge Blue. Okay, so it looks like only one of these is really changing. Huh, very telling. The markers, when I wrote them on this black sheet, did not come out very well but a few hours later they dried up and they look a little better now this white paint pen is what it does it, is it kind of absorbs some of the ink from the marker and it colors the paint pen which i think is really cool and i think that's fun art to do you don't necessarily have to use it the way it was intended <laughs> it was like make 3d effects and everything neon effects exactly what they called but i think this is more like you can use this for art like on black paper if you want to come in and color different items and use this white i think it's a great idea i'm going to try this with posca markers and see if it works too okay let's try with the posca so we're going to do one of these and one of these and then we're going to see if it does the same thing the other ones did we can do a little circle too now we have to let this dry. Okay, so this one's kind of dry. We'll try it. Yeah, we get a little bit of that green undertone in there. We're gonna try this one. It does make it pink a little bit. Makes this one green, makes that one pink. So yes, paint marker with regular marker does color it you get a little bit of stuff on the marker but 
it does work. To be able to just color a white paint pen that opens up the doors, like all of a sudden you don't need all these colors. Well, it's nice to have all the colors, but if you have a color you want to use and you don't have it in a paint pen, then you can use it and you can make it. If you can't buy all the Posca pens, cause there's a lot or all the paint pens, you can use markers and make a white pen go a long way. Are these markers any different from the gel markers or the neon light effects markers? The answer is, I don't think they are. They're not, they, their effects are the same. They both go down on white paper. They both get light and they take time. Like it's not right away. So it's an effect that comes later. There are different colors than were in the gel effects markers. So there's no longer a gray. They didn't name the gel markers. There's no longer a gray, but there is, they added some new colors. They added rose, orange, and blue. So we've seen that they don't really last over time. I only got the neon light effect markers earlier this year and they're already drying up. So I wonder when these bold and bright markers will dry up. They're really fun when you can use them right away, but they will eventually dry out. Back to the question at the beginning of the video, are these markers worth it? Like should you buy them? The answer is if you want a fun marker and you're going to use it right away, yes. But if you buy these and you're not going to use them or use them occasionally, like every month or two, then they probably aren't worth it. But if you use them regularly until they run out, I guess, <laughs> or <laughs> until they dry up, then they'll be a fun marker for you. I hope you guys liked this video. What do you think of the markers? Let me know below. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.